The following program contains language and situations of an adult nature. Some material may not be appropriate for young viewers. The Scott Richards Show now proudly presents to you CSW's first pay-per-view, No Mercy. That's right, folks. After a month of having the beat gone, CSW is back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I am Scott Richards, joined by my cop Jamie partner, Jim Ross. As tonight, we bring to you CSW No Mercy. And we're kicking off big with the six man ladder match. With, with that briefcase hanging above the ring. That's right, folks. Whoever grabs that briefcase can either face the world champion or the CSW champion at CSW WrestleMania. Now, not talking. Let's get to this huge six-man ladder match. is scheduled for one fall. Introducing is a six-man ladder match. Introducing first, representing the Wyatt family, the Fiend Bray Wyatt. The Fiend Bray Wyatt in this huge six-man ladder match. The last time we saw The Fiend is when him and the Wyatt family attacked the House of Black backstage after the House of Black tried to kill off The Fiend. This is going to be interesting because Aleister Black will be in this match with Bray tonight. Supporter first, representing the House of Black, Alistair Black. And look at the fiend just staring down Alistair Black. Nightmare! 
Cody Rhodes with a huge opportunity here tonight, hanging high above the ring. That huge, that briefcase with the biggest opportunity in CSW. Making his debut here tonight, Kevin Owens! Kevin Owens, one hell of a competitor in this sport, making a huge debut here tonight at CSW. Can you imagine Kevin Owens winning his first match, getting a guaranteed opportunity for a championship at WrestleMania? That's what that briefcase means to all six, six competitors in this ladder match here tonight at No Mercy. JR, shut up. And their opponent, Adam Cole. Here comes the king of violence. The, un the unstable John Moxley! This could be a huge opportunity for Mox. He's had a last few uh, couple of matches. He got attacked by Champa Gargano recently, which I've been looking out for them, by the way. Where the hell is John? Did he ever get again? God damn it, John, what the hell are you doing? Wait, 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 wait a minute, John Moxley! He came for the crowd! Oh my god! John Moxley just attacked Adam Cole with a hockey stick and the match begins! But Alistair Black with a running knee strike the Mox! Alistair with a running knee to Kevin Owens! Alistair got back to his feet and Black Master Cody Rhodes! Alistair Black taking out everybody but look at the stare down between the Fiend and Alistair Black! And the Fiend and Alistair Black are battling it out here back and forth! Oh but the Fiend caught him! He caught him with a sister Abigail! Now he's picked up Alistair Black and throws it to the outside. And the Fiend standing tall in the middle of the ring here. Well, wait a minute, Cody Rhodes with a springboard! Cody Carter by Cody! The Fiend got up to his knees, but Adam Cole's got his eyes set on the Fiend with a last shot to the Fiend! I don't know how the Fiend got back up to his feet, but Luke is standing behind him. It's Kevin Owens! And Kevin Owens catches him for a stutter! And now John Moxley going to go after the Fiend. And John Moxley got the feed for a paradigm shift. Kevin Owens with a running set, Todd. Oh, wait a minute, Cody. He's got Kevin Owens with a crossroads to Kevin Owens. Cody back to his feet, but Adam Cole hits at Cody Rhodes with a ladder. Adam Cole sets up the ladder, looking up at the briefcase. And Adam Cole is going to start the climb here. Adam, the only one man up. Could he grab the briefcase? John Moxley back up to his feet, and John Moxley, he's, he's, he's climbing the ladder now. As John Moxley and Adam Cole are battling on top of the ladder, look on the outside, Alistair Black is setting up two tables. Oh my god, Kevin Owens just pulled out a pallet of barbed wire, and he's bringing it to the ring. As Kevin Owens just set up the barbed wire, he's looking at Moxley, and Moxley's got a hold of Adam Cole, but I think he's got an idea. John Moxley got a hold of Adam Cole going for a paradigm shift off the ladder. Paradigm shift off the ladder onto the barbed wire. Adam Cole's head bounced off, but oh my god. As both of these men are laid out on the barbed wire, Kevin Owens is setting up a ladder across this ladder. And Kevin Owens is going to start the climb here. Could Kevin Owens grab the briefcase in sight? But wait a minute, Alistair Black, he's climbing the structure. This is a dangerous move from Alistair. He's getting all the way on the top. That's a long fall if you fall off of there. Alistair Black's on top, but look who's on the other side. It's the Fiend Bray Wyatt. But as you look down below on the ladders, now Cody Rhodes bowing out with Kevin Owens. This is pure chaos. 
The Fiend, he went right after Osner Black and they're battling all on top. You gotta be careful. One wrong move and you're falling near death pretty much. And look at down below those tables set up down there. As Cody and Kevin continue to battle on, on the ladder. Look at on top. The Fiend, he's got a hold of Alistair Black with a huge chokehold. And he's looking down at the tables. Oh my god, Bray Wyatt, please, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Not through the tables. Oh my god. The Fiend and Alistair Black have crashed through both tables all the way down. But look at over here. Kevin Owens, he's got a hold of Cody Rhodes on the ladder. Kevin Owens, he's got a hold of Cody Rhodes over a package. Pile driving off the top of the ladder. Oh, right through the ladder. But the ladder falls on top of him as well. Pure chaos. crowd is absolutely loving this match. What a way to kick off No Mercy with a six-man ladder match. This is definitely awesome. Kevin Owens gets back up to his feet. Oh my god, what a tear shot by John Moxley. And Moxley staring up at the briefcase knowing this could be his moment. He's going after the ladder. Well, I thought Moxley was going after the ladder, but he's got a hold of Kevin Owens as he put up that chair. John Moxley's about to hit Kevin Owens with a Pair shift on the chair! As Kevin Owens is down now, John Moxley sets up the ladder as he's getting ready to start climbing the ladder here. As John Moxley is about to start climbing the ladder. Oh, wait a minute, what the hell? That's Jerry Gargano! He's attacking John Moxley with a kendo stick! You gotta be kidding me, this is bullshit! Arrow calls back up to his feet, sees Gargano, but oh man, Shambles took him out with a running knee! And Johnny Gargano, as he continues to beat Moxley, he just beat him down! Champa on the outside of the ring setting up a, the, the huge red ladder for something. Let's see, he backs up to the feet, but Johnny Gargano, what a super kick to John Moxley. Her rolls is up to his feet, but Gargano, what another super kick. As Gargano setting up the ladder here, look at Champa. He's setting up a bridge with that ladder. God knows what they have in mind for Moxley. Oh my God! No way! It's in a Kingston! That's Eddie Kingston theme song! He's in serious double, but where the hell is he? It's Eddie! Oh, and he's going right into champ the hair! Holy shit, indeed! And Eddie Kingston's in the ring with Johnny Gargano! This is unbelievable! This is what serious dub is all about, ladies and gentlemen! Backhand by Eddie Kingston to Johnny Gargano! And he's checking out John Moxley. But Champa on top of the ladder. Is he gonna jump on Eddie? Eddie's not that stupid. He's going right into the ladder here. Eddie's gonna clock. Eddie's got a hold of Champa on the top of the ladder. Oh dear God! Eddie's gonna kill Champa off the top of the ladder. Pancake power driver through the ladder. Oh my God! Eddie Kingston just murdered Champa through the ladder. But as you look over here, Adam Cole and Kevin Owens are battling out here. They set up those three tables. But wait a minute. Cody Rhodes on the top rope here. Cody Rhodes on the top with a most of the Adam Cole and Kevin Owens to the outside. I can't believe Alistair and Bray Wyatt have not moved since that fall. It wasn't one laying down. But wait a minute. Gargano, he's climbing the structure. What the hell is he thinking? What is he doing? Did you not see what happened earlier? Gargano on top of the wall, do you think he can escape from Moxley, but oh, look who's standing right behind him. Oh, Gargano, you done fucked up now. Moxley and Gargano battling on the top of the structure. Luke was crawling back in the ring, Cody Rhodes, and the feed, Bray Wyatt. Oh my guys, look at the top. Moxley's got to hold Gargano for a paradigm. But look at the three tables set all the way down. Moxley, think about this, don't do it. Moxley, don't do it! Oh, paradigm shift to all three tables! My god, they gotta be dead! Holy shit, dude! This is fucking awesome! Jill, watch your mouth! Kids are watching, I don't care! God, the Fiend! He's got a whole Cody Rhodes in the middle of the ring with a sister and a girl! As the Fiend stands tall, but wait a minute! Adam Cole! Oh my god! Last shot off the top rope to the Fiend! The Fiend 
he's up to his knees. Adam Cole, he's going to hit the ropes here for another last shot. Oh, but the feed caught him. The feed caught him here. And he's about to hit Adam Cole with a sister, Abigail. Oh, wait, look at the feeds looking up back. Kevin Owens has climbed the damn thing to get the briefcase and get out of the feeds way. Kevin Owens is on top. He can easily just grab that briefcase. Wait, what the hell? The lights just went out. Oh my god! How the hell? The feed has got out there! He's got a hold of Kevin Owens! Oh my god! Kevin Owens has got thrown off into the barbed wire! Oh my god! The feed is absolutely enjoying this! And he's laughing! He's laughing! He's fucking laughing here! He's loving all of this chaos here! And the lights just went out again! Holy shit! How did Alistair get out there? We saw him die early in the matchup! Black Mass! Off the structure by Alistair Black! Oh my god, the feet fell all the way down! What a Black Mass by Alistair! Alistair's the only man left standing! He's gonna win! Wait a minute, what the hell? A cutter! Off the top! Into the tables! Oh my god! Into the bar board as well! Tony made the ultimate sacrifice! Oh my god! Cody and Alistair got to be dead! And Corner off the top into the table with barbed wire under it! The crowd's still going nuts! How the hell is Cody Rhodes even climbing? Come on Cody, this is your moment! This is your moment kid! This is your moment! Cody's on top! He's about to grab the briefcase! We get it, he won. Here's your winner! The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Cody Rhodes is a guaranteed spot at WrestleMania! He can use that briefcase to challenge either the World Heavyweight Champion Roman Reigns or the CSW Champion CM Punk. Wow, what a huge six match, six man ladder match, excuse me. What a way to kick off. No mercy, that was awesome. That was an unbelievable matchup, folks. And later tonight, we have to, Cody must decide if he's either going to challenge Punk or Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to CSW No Mercy. Our next matchup, it's for the CSW Intercontinental Championship. That's right, folks. AJ Styles will defend the Intercontinental Championship against debuting superstar Brian Outlaw. And yeah, our, uh, our arena might look a little uh, different here tonight. We had to do some remodeling, Nick. Thanks to this motherfucker. Hey, watch your mouth. Kids are watching. Do you think I can? Anyway, let's get to the action. Look at this sold out arena here tonight for CSW No Mercy. Let's continue with some more action for the Intercontinental Championship. <laughs> Championship. Introducing first the challenger, making his debut, Brian Outlaw. What an entrance by Brian Outlaw. I love this song, by the way. Uh, good friends. She's actually good friends with Brian. I don't know if you guys knew that, but Brian Outlaw making his debut here tonight. What a huge opportunity for this kid. Not only shows talent. 
but go against one of the best in the world, the phenomenal AJ Styles, and possibly he can walk out of here as the CSW Intercontinental Champion. opponent. He is the CSW Intercontinental Champion, the Phenomenal AJ Styles. The Phenomenal AJ Styles, the Intercontinental Champion. He defeated Kenny Omega in a two out of three falls match to become the CSW Intercontinental Champion. And this is his first title defense. And what a match is about to be. Brian Outlaw versus AJ Styles for the CSW Intercontinental Championship. And there it is, boys, for the CSW Intercontinental Championship on the line. AJ Styles defeating his title against debut superstar Brian Outlaw. And here we go. Brian Outlaw and AJ going for a lockup here. Uh, Brian Outlaw sent AJ to the ropes. And so tackled by AJ. AJ Styles running to the ropes. Brian with a flying drop kick. Damn it, Phil, watch where you're going. But Brian Outlaw with a jumping AJ to AJ. AJ Styles go going to the outside. AJ back up to his feet, but look at Brian Outlaw. He's going to hit on the ropes. Going for a springboard. Springboard. Oh. Springboard moves up, but lands on his feet back in the ring. He's telling AJ to bring it on. AJ Styles came back into the ring. Oh, but Brian catches him with a hurricanrana. And another jumping NZ by Brian. AJ Styles back on the outside, but look at Brian. Look at the guy in his face. He's going to hit the ropes. Springboard swat to the outside. Take it out, AJ Styles. Look at the look on Brian's face. He's enjoying this, man. Brian's giving AJ a whooping. But AJ Styles with a standing pallet kick. AJ Styles putting Brian Outlaw back into the ring. Brian back up to his feet, but wait a minute, AJ, he's going to try to end early with a final form. Oh my God, Brian Cole with a cold breaker out of nowhere. Brian go for the cover here. One, two, but AJ kicks out at two. And Brian immediately picks up AJ. And AJ does another one, giant suplex. And now Brian Outlaw, he sees AJ's getting back up. He's going to hit the ropes, going for Oh, but AJ caught him here. He's got him on his shoulders. Oh, my God, I trust Brian on his skull. AJ go for the cover. And one, two. Brian kicks out of two. As Brian is still laid out on the floor here. AJ Styles on the ropes, going to hit. I think he's going to go for a springboard 450. Yep, you guessed it. Springboard. 50 splash up oh, and AJ looks like he's picking up Brian for something here and he's bringing Brian to the ropes oh no AJ's got Brian on the top rope he could be hitting a stars clash off the top oh wait a minute Brian's fighting back here oh wait a minute Brian's got a hold of AJ on the ropes here what in the world's Brian going for Phil you better get the hell out of the way Brian I has got AJ for a Kane Destroyer off the top rope Oh my god, AJ landed right on his head. But how the hell is Brian still to his feet? What is Brian going to do now? AJ starting to get back up to his feet. I don't even know how. But Brian, he's on the ropes. What the hell is he going to do? Brian, springboard! Cutter by Brian! This could be Brian's moment. One, two! A kick out of two by AJ! This is indeed awesome! Wow, the crowd has got going absolutely insane! Both men are now back up to their feet. Brian with a jump at Enzi! Pallet kick by AJ! Super kick by Brian! Brian, he's gonna hit the ropes! Where's he going? 
Oh, and AJ caught him. He caught him. He's going to hit him with a... He's going to hit him with a power bomb, I think. Wait a minute. What the hell? Oh, my God. Holy shit. Brian just went flying to the outside towards the ring bell table. As Brian's trying to get back up to his feet after crashing to that ring bell table, what in the world is AJ Styles thinking here? There's no way. AJ Styles going for a springboard. Bell form to the outside. Holy shit, it did. It. AJ's trying to get Brian back into the ring here. Oh, it's over now. AJ Styles is about to hit the Styles Clash. AJ Styles hits Brian with a Styles Clash. It's over, guys. It's over. One, two. Oh, no way! Brian kicked out of two! AJ can't believe it, but Brian's already up to his feet. He's about to hit the ropes with a springboard. Springboard collar! How the hell did Brian get up so fast? AJ's on his knees. Brian, he's going to do it. He's about to hit him with his finisher. Shannon Wizard! That's it, new champion, new champion! One, two, AJ kicked out of two! No! That could have been Brian's moment right there! I cannot believe AJ just kicked out of there, but Brian's back onto his feet. He's thinking of something. He's looking at the ropes. He's got, he's not going to give up here. Brian Outlaw on the top rope. He's going to go for a top rope. Shannon Wizard! No way, AJ called a Styles Clash! Brian Outlaw is down and out. AJ didn't even go for the pin yet. Where the hell is AJ going? He's, he's going on the top rope here. No way. He's looking at that box. And he jumps on the box. Huh? That was a good jump from AJ. Brian's got back up to his feet. But look at AJ Styles all the way up there. AJ, no! Final form! All the way down, all the way up there! Oh my god! Holy shit, what a long way down! And now AJ crawling to Brian, going for the cover! One, two, three! Here's your winner! It's still. The CSW Intercontinental Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. What a match! What a performance and debut by Brian Outlaw. That was awesome. And AJ Styles retains the Intercontinental Championship in his first title defense. And AJ reached out his hand to Brian Outlaw for a handshake. Like, like I said, what a performance by Brian. And a show of respect by Brian. There's nothing to be ashamed about. This was an incredible match. What the hell? Oh my god! It's Lance Archer! Lance Archer's here! The murder hawk! But where the hell is he? Where, where's Lance Archer? Oh, wait a minute! He came from the crowd! What the hell is this all about? Lance Archer is staring down AJ Styles and Brian! Are these two going to team up to fight Lance right now? I am so confused on what's going on. Why is Lance even here? Oh, wait a minute, what? Are you gonna be kidding me? This was a setup by Brian. He's assaulted AJ Styles. And the Murderhawk. Oh, what a kick by Lance Archer. Brian, you sick son of a bitch. You gotta be kidding me. Lance is picking up AJ. What the hell's Brian about to do? The shadow wizard AJ Styles. You've got to be kidding me, Brian! This was a setup by Brian, Lance Archer, and Brian Outlaw. What an alliance! They just assaulted AJ Styles, and Brian showing his true colors here. Oh my! Oh my God! No! 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 It's not! No! It's not! Can it be? Wait a minute! It is! Oh my God! Oh my God! I'm so pissed! It's the ultimate fighter, Brock Lesnar! Oh my God! 
Those are fire! Brock Lesnar is in CSW and everyone's losing their shit right now! Oh my god, Brian, if I you, I'd run like hell! What the hell's Brock doing? Oh my god, no! Brock Lesnar has been the hell out of Brian Hello and Lance Sergeant! Picks up Lance Sergeant, but you share a suplex! Oh no, they're trying to suplex! Oh no, he's got all of Brian with a bad eye suplex! And now he's about to hit Brian with another bad eye suplex! Suplex dang bitch! Brock Lesnar's got a hold of Lance Archer! Oh yeah, give it to him, baby! Brock Lesnar! He's about to hit Lance Archer with a huge F5 to Lance Archer! And like a badass farmer, he tosses his punk ass out of here! Oh, Brian, you don't, you don't messed up now. You messed with the farmer. Brock Lesnar is going for another five to Brian. Lance Archer back up to his feet, but Brock Lesnar's picking up Brian and throws on the Lance Archer. And Brock Lesnar making a message to the CSW locker room that he is here in CSW. But look who's standing behind Brock. Oh boy, AJ Styles or Brock Lesnar having a stare down. And Brock Lesnar offering AJ Styles a handshake. Um, I wouldn't fall for that. Wow, Brock Lesnar and AJ Styles, Styles are saying, showing respect for each other. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised by that. Oh, I knew it. Never trust the beast. F5 to the Ohio champion. Brock Lesnar making a message to the Intercontinental Champion AJ Styles that he wants a title shot. Can you imagine Brock Lesnar versus AJ Styles for the CSW Intercontinental Championship? But look at Brian staring down the beast. What well, he just embarrassed himself with. Well, yeah, Brian kind of did to himself. What an idiot. But wow, Brock Lesnar is in crazy shit wrestling. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so far it's been a good night here so far at CSW No Mercy. And that's right, coming up next, one of three main event matches for No Mercy here tonight. That's right, folks, up next, Rhea Ripley defends the CSW Women's Championship against Jay Gargan. Contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the CSW Women's Championship. Introducing first the challenger, Jay Gargan. Jay Gargan, one hell of a competitor in this ring. The first challenger for Rhea Ripley. Representing the Judgment Day, she is the CSW Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley has been one hell of a dominant CSW Women's Champion when she defeated Paige by throwing her off the stage through a table to win that title. And now we get to win this one hell of a match. Rhea Ripley versus Jade Gargell for the CSW Women's Championship. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what this match is all for. The CSW Women's Title. And here we go, the match has begun, and oh, what a knee by Jay! Oh, Rhea gets back up to her feet, and oh, jumping Etsy by Jay! And now Jay Gargill's picking up Rhea Ripley. Oh, throws Rhea to the outside! 
Maria Ripley trying to get back up to her feet, but look at Jane Gargill on the top row where the most Santeria takes her out! Wipes her out completely clean here! Oh, but look at Jade. She's picked up Rhea Ripley. Oh, she's going on the steel steps. What is she going for? And a power slam on the apron. And now Jade pushes Rhea Ripley back into the ring. And now Jade Gargill getting ready to jump off the top rope here. Oh, and Rhea with a running uppercut here. Completely taking out Jade on the top. Oh, wait a minute. Rhea Ripley. She's got Jade Gargill for a suplex off the top. What a suplex off the top rope, and Jade goes flying. And Jade trying to get back up to her feet, but Rhea Ripley with a clothesline and brings in the outside. And Jade getting back up to her feet, but look at Rhea Ripley. Rhea going to go for a dive. Oh, Jade Gargill just catched Rhea and slams her on the apron. And now putting Rhea Ripley back into the ring. As Rhea Ripley trying to get back up to her feet, Jade in the corner here going for that running bicycle kick. Oh, wait a minute, Rhea Ripley catches her and reverses the win. Jared Suplex! Jump in and see! Whoa, headbutt! Jump in and see! Red kick! Super kick! This is indeed awesome! This is what the CSW Women's Championship means to these two women right here! Who's gonna get on first? What a night of action this has been so far here at No Mercy! Jared, we gotta pay attention back in the ring! Both women are back up! Jade's gonna go for the super kick! On rear corner! It lifts her up for the one on rear bomb! David Farrell count at one! Two! Kick out of two by Jade! I can't believe she just kicked out! Oh, look at this! Rhea Ripley's got the submission locked in! Will Jade tap out here? She's crawling to the ropes here! Oh, and Jade just pushes her off! How? Rhea back to her feet! Jade over the bicycle kick! Jade picking up Rhea. I think she's going for the finish. Oh, this could be it! Jade's got Rhea up for the finish! Oh, there it is! Right there! With a cover one, two! Rhea! Kicks out of two! What in the world does Jade have to do to beat Rhea Ripley to win the CSW Women's title? Rhea Ripley down and out. Jade's got to think of something here. Wait a minute. Jade Gargill going to the top rope. Should be good hitting a moonsault here. Rhea Ripley's getting back up. She's running in the corner. Oh no, Rhea's got a hold of Jade. Oh my god, how's that even possible? Rhea Ripley just carried Jade all the way to the top. Going for a... Rhea Bomb! Off the top rope! That's it, that's gotta be over! One, two, three! Here's your winner, and still the CSW Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley! And just like that, Rhea Ripley retains the CSW Women's Championship, destroying Jay Gargale. But the Jade did put up a fight though. But look at Rhea Ripley, the most dominant woman in this roster. Who could stop Rhea Ripley and her title reign? Oh, wait a minute, what the hell? The lights just went out. The lights are back on it. Oh! It's Alexa Bliss! Oh, Alexa Bliss got a hold of the champ, Rhea Ripley! Sister Abigail! As Alexa Bliss takes out the new... I mean, the CSW Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Oh my god, look up above from the House of Black, Shotzi Blackheart! And she's staring down Alexa! Oh my god, Shotzi! Oh! Takes out Alexa Bliss! And we got ourselves a good old cat fight between Shotzi and Alexa Bliss! And now they're just fine, but look at Rhea Ripley with her title! Oh! Takes them both out! Both women's got taken out by the champ, Rhea Ripley. Now just hold on for one damn second. Scott, Scott, what the fuck are you doing? Shut up. Hey, all right, all right, all right. I had enough of this shit. All right, Rhea, you want competition so bad backstage? You told me earlier tonight before the show started that you wanted real competition. So this is what we're going to do. At WrestleMania, you, Rhea Ripley, the CSW Women's Champion, you will defend your title at WrestleMania against... Alexa Bliss and Shotzi Blackheart in a triple threat. Fools count 
anywhere match! Whoa! What an announcement by Scott Richards! The channel manager at WrestleMania! It will be Rhea Ripley, Shotzi Blackheart, and Alexa Bliss for the CSW Women's title! And the crowd is absolutely loving this announcement! And we are back for a commercial break for one of two main events of No Mercy. That's right, folks. Our first main event we're about to see right now as Roman Reigns defends the CSW World Heavyweight Championship against the number one contender, Kenny Omega. Now, let's get to this dream matchup for the World Heavyweight Championship. Chance to schedule for one fall. Introducing first, representing the elite, he is the number one contender, the cleaner, Kenny Omega. The cleaner, Kenny by God Omega. Kenny Omega earned this opportunity by winning a fatal four way match between John Cena, Seth Rollins, and his friend Cody Rhodes who earlier tonight won the briefcase to challenge either the world champion Roman Reigns or the CSW champion CM Punk at WrestleMania. Let's not worry about Cody. Let's worry about one of the best in the in wrestlers, Kenny Omega, possibly dethroning the world champion Roman Reigns here tonight. And here comes the tribal chief, the head at the table, the leader of the bloodline. The world heavyweight champion Roman Reigns. And his opponent, accompanied by Paul Heyman, he is the head of the table. The Tribal Chief, the leader of the bloodline, the CSW World Heavyweight Champion, Roman Reigns! Wow, that's, that's the wise man, Paul Heyman, who was making his debut in an iconic by Roman Reigns, the World Heavyweight Champion. Roman Reigns won that world title by defeating his former friends Seth Rollins and John Moxley in a TLC match, the first episode of CSW, and now his first title defense against Kenny Omega. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, that's what it's all about, the World Heavyweight Championship. One of our first two main events here tonight, Roman Reigns, Kenny Omega for the world title, a dream match about to start. And the bell has been rung. Here we go. Kenny Omega, Roman Reigns for the world title. Kenny Omega, Roman Reigns going for a lockup here. Roman Reigns pushing Kenny Omega against the ropes. And tosses Kenny Omega. You know, it's right here in my face, Kenny Omega. This is my show. I'm the Tribal Chief for right here. I'm the end of the table. I'm the world champ. You think all this little pole like Kenny Omega? Come here, you words by the Tribal Chief, but Omega with a flying drop kick. 
Uh, Roman gets right back up and Omega! Oh, another drop kick! And Roman Reigns falls out to the outside. Man, the stupid Canadian, get all these drop kicks. I'm a beat his ass. Do Oh, uh, Roman, pay attention! Oh, one time by Omega to the outside! And Omega picking up Roman Reigns and a suplex on the apron! And now, Kenny Omega gonna go to the top rope. Roman Reigns back up to his feet, but look at Kenny! Oh, what a moonsault to the outside! And Kenny Omega gonna grab Roman Reigns and put him back into the ring. Roman back up to his feet. Meanwhile, Kenny Omega on the top rope. He's gonna go. What's he gonna go for here? Oh! Oh no! Roman caught him. Roman caught him. Oh no! What's he gonna go for? Enough the flag shit! Get out! Wah! Roman Reigns just freaking tossed Omega out to the outside. Omega trying to, trying to get back up to his feet here, but look at the look on Paul Heyman's face. Yeah, that's right, kid, man. Get back to me. So look at all these marks. They want you want y'all want to see some flying shit, huh? I'll show you some real dive by a real man. Wait a minute, is Roman Reigns gonna go for a dive? A dive here? Oh my god! It goes flying to Omega! To the outside! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! So that's a dive by a real man! That's a dive for you, Marks! Yeah, that's right! AEW sucks! Words by Roman Reigns. Now, Roman Reigns gonna pick up Omega. What is he gonna. And he's looking right at the monitor. No! Oh, wow! Put him right into the monitor! And now Roman Reigns picks up Omega again and throws him back into the ring. How stupid can you possibly be? You really think that some stupid flips and kicks are gonna beat me? No! I'm the travel team! This is my show! You know I'm ending right now! Omega getting back out, Roman Reigns looking to end it with the Superman Punch! Oh, Kenny gets out of the way here! Oh, Kenny grabs the Roman with a chair and suplex and Roman lands on his head! Roman gets back up to his feet. Oh, what a super kick by Kenny. And now Kenny way in the corner here. I think I know he's going to go for. Kenny Omega going for the Van Trigger. Oh, no. I don't think so. What a power bomb, bitch. What a power bomb by Roman Reigns. Roman go for the counter. One, two. Oh, the kick out of two. Oh, you going down today, boy. I told you yet. Come here. Roman Reigns picking up Kenny Omega. And now throws Kenny Omega to the rope. Now catches Omega with a smaller drop the position. Gonna go for it. Oh, wait a second. Oh, and Omega reversed it into a destroyer. Roman lands on his head. Omega go for the cover. One, two, and a kick out of two. Omega's getting back up to his feet as Roman's leader gets the ropes. What is Omega gonna go for here? Oh, Roman Reigns got ahead of V Trigger the back of the skull, but Omega with a V Trigger! Come on, one, two, kick out of two by Roman! Now Roman Reigns leaning against the Rose, Omega's gonna go after Roman! Oh, grabs Roman for a giant suplex! Now Omega ahead of Rose for another V Trigger! Shovel punch by Roman Reigns! Omega trying to get back up here, where's Roman think he's looking at the ropes? Springboard! Superman punch! One, two, kick out of two by Kenny! This is indeed awesome! Who's gonna get up first? Oh, they're grabbing each other here. Stupid motherfucker! You think you can take me down? Hell no! I'm gonna hit you! I'm gonna hit you! I'm the tribal chief! This is my radio, motherfucker! You wanna get back up? Oh, hell no. Oh, Silverman punch by Roman Reigns! Oh, Mega, what a big trick out of nowhere! I'm gonna go for a giant suplex! Oh, Roman Reigns picks up for a Yagi! Oh, Mega, what a super kick! I'll be picking up Roman Reigns and tosses him to the outside. You, sir, should not do that to my tribal chief. I am the wise man, I'm telling you, 
to a slow in your roll, Canadian boy. I'm telling you right now, you better acknowledge your tribal chi- OH MY GOD, OMEGA THIS V TRIGGER PAUL HEYMAN! Thank Phil the ref checking out on Paul Heyman, meanwhile, Roman Reigns ye at yelling at Bob! Who said it, Bob? I did not pay you a thousand dollars to do a crappy job as a security guard, alright, motherfucker? You're supposed to protect my wise man! Roman Reigns is pissed off, Roman Omega Springboard! V TRIGGER TO THE OUTSIDE OF ROMAN AND BOB! Omega, what the hell? I just hired that guy, you fuck. Whoa, what the language? Oh, you're the one to talk. Pay attention, you fuck! Omega, Omega, what are you doing? What the, what the, you stupid mother... Yeah, that's why I pick up the nails table, you dumbass. It, it, would you be nice? No. Kenny Omega, to tear it up our announce table, try and do something here. Roman Reigns! Oh, the spirit of Omega jumping off the steel steps! Ah! Tap out, you Canadian bitch! This is my show! Oh my god, Roman Reigns got Kenny Omega in the Yuridagi here! Kenny Omega can easily faint! Wait a second, Kenny Omega powering it out! Wait a minute, what the? Ah! Omega hit Roman with a suplex to get out of the Yuridagi! Oh no, Kenny's putting Roman Reigns on the announce table! Meanwhile, Phil is still checking out on Paul Heyman. Was that really a bad V trigger for him? Oh no, Kenny Omega walking on the barricade here. Roman Reigns knocked down there on the announce table. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. What the hell? Oh my god, Omega's on top of the lamp! Roman, go, damn it, wake up! You're gonna die! Uh, what? What was that? I don't know. Oh my god, look up! Oh my god, look at all the way down from there! Omega's gonna fly! Oh, fuck. Oh my god! Check out Paul, I come back, and this is what you do, go away! Um, can we fire his ass? Never talk again, you Mickey Mouse fuck! Ah, oh, no wonder our channel's getting any views. Where the hell did you get Mickey Mouse from? It doesn't matter, pay attention to the match, you dumbass! Kenny Omega is slowly putting Roman Reigns back into the ring! Omega picking up Roman, I think I know what he's gonna go for! Omega's got Roman out for the one-winged angel! And he hits it! That's it, we're about to crown a new world champion! One! Two! Oh no! Roman kicked out! Oh my god! Omega can't believe it! I can't believe it! How the hell did Roman kick out of that? It's all all you got, you bitch! Come on! Omega about to hit the big trigger! Ah, oh, come on! Trigger! Roman's not a human, he's standing up against the corner here, but Omega, he's about to hit another V Trigger! Oh, Roman gets, Roman gets out of the way as Kenny Omega goes flying it outside of Paul Hammond. Omega gets run back into the ring, he's going to go on the road. Oh, Roman, what a spare! Paul Weisberg, get up! Yes, my tribal chief. I'm out there in the road now with all you marks! In my arena. Spare by Roman! Ah, oh, he's got him in the air, Yagi. He's gonna make him go to sleep. Ooh, ah, that's why I go to sleep, you stupid motherfucker. You want me for the red table and take out my my last man? And Roman Reigns retains the World Heavyweight Championship. What a match! You did it, my Toy Motif! You retain your title! You are the head of the title! The World Champion, Roman Reigns! Here's your winner!
here, and still, the CSW World Heavyweight Champion, Roman Reigns! Roman Reigns retains his title in his first title defense. What a match, and this is even the main event. We still got Hangman and a page versus CM Punk in the main event inside of a steel cage for the CSW Championship. I want all these marks to listen very closely watching at home. I just show everybody why I am there the type, the tribal chief. No interruptions, no run-ins. I'll call myself. I want the world chief. And the next time you see the tribal chief, you will see me. Paul Hayden and the entire bloodline in this room, and we will discuss the bloodlines, WrestleMania plans. Well, we got our announce table fixed up back here once again, because ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event of the evening. That's right, folks. Right here, we got ourselves a steel cage match ready for the main event for the CSW Championship between CM Punk and Hangman Adam Page. It'd be real easy for me to come out here and say how much I love CM Punk, how much I respect him, how much I look forward to standing across the ring from the best in the world at double or nothing. Well, that's not gonna happen. I am going to destroy CM Punk. Hey man, listen to me. I will always bet on myself. Win, lose, or draw, double or nothing, you will know that you have been in a fight with CM Punk, and I will continue to fight until the wheels fall off. You said that you wanted a fight? Well, you've got one, and Punk, it will be the fight of your life. wake up every morning and ask myself, are you a good guy? This morning I woke up and I asked myself, are you the champ? My answer was yes. Whether you're conscious or unconscious, there is nothing that you can do to me to take this championship away from me. World, you traveled to get here to create all elite wrestling happen because I gave you the blueprint. I love this place. I care about this place. This is my home. And this Sunday at Double or Nothing, I will not, I will not be defending this championship against you. I will be defending all elite wrestling from you. like Hangman Adam Page, he's going to climb the cage to get into the matchup here tonight in our main event of CSW, no mercy. As you see right here folks, there's a bunch of weapons inside of the steel cage for this championship match. One night it's been here tonight, no mercy, but man this match I believe is going to steal the show here tonight. Will Hangman and a page walk out of here as a new CSW champion, or will CM Punk retain his title? And here 
comes the CSW champion, the leader of the Judgment Day, CM Punk. CM Punk has now entered the cage and the door has been closed. Oh, this is going to be an interesting one here, folks. Hey, man, and Punk. CM Punk turned his back on all the fans by joining the Judgment Day and becoming the CSW champion and pretty much screwing over Finn Balor when he won that title. I have noted that the Judgment Day will not be a part of this match because that's why we got ourselves a steel cage match. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your main event of the evening. It is a steel cage match and it is for the CSW Championship. Introducing first, the challenger, Hangman, Adam Page! People are loving Hangman Adam Page. Everybody wants him to win here tonight. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day, he is the CSW Champion, the best in the world, C. L. Punk. Man, a lot of people are not liking C. L. Punk here and after what he did to win that title, but everybody wants the Cowboy to win here tonight. Match is about to start. Oh, Punk just hit Hangman in the face with the title. And the bell has been rung here. Oh, look at C. L. Punk. He's already gonna try to climb out of here. Hey man, getting right back up. He's got the rope around him. He's going off the cage to go after CM Punk. Oh my God! Hangman out of page. He's choking CM Punk with the rope. He's hanging up off the cage. Oh my God! This could kill Punk here. Oh my God! Like the Hangman, he is. He pulls Punk right back up with the rope. But I think he's gonna think of something here. Oh my God! No way! A suplex off the top of the cage. Oh my God! A suplex on the top of the cage! Hey man, go over the cover! One, two! Punk kicks out of two! I'm surprised Punk kicked out of that, but what a way to kick off the steel cage match! A suplex off the top of the cage! What does Hangman have to do here? Oh, Hangman's got a chair! Oh, Punk with a head security to the chair in the face of Hangman. Hangman trying to get back up here, but now Punk's got a chair. Oh, and Punk just beat Hangman down with some chair shots in the back. And the Cowboy getting right back up like that did nothing to him. Oh, and a chair shot to the skull by Punk. Hangman down and out, but see a Punk saying up some chairs here. Now he's going to go out there, Hangman. And now CM Punk just put Hangman on those chairs. What's Punk a thinking here? Punk climbed the cage. Punk can get out of here now. Oh, wait a second. I'll think of Punk's think about leaving. He's thinking about jumping. I'm on top of the top of the cage. Oh, right into the chairs. I'll go over the counter. One, two. Cowboy kicks at it two. These guys are just going back and forth here. Now Punk getting right back up. Oh no, he's going after the barbed wire on the pallet. Now Punk setting up the barbed wire in the corner here. He's going to go right after Hangman. Oh, super kick by Hangman. And now Hangman has picked up Punk on his shoulders. And now Hangman looking at the barbed wire in the corner. Wait a second. Oh my god, he bounced off the barbed wire. Throw it, Punk, into the barbed wire, into the corner. Meanwhile, while Punk is down and out, Hangman's getting himself a table here. Hangman and a pinch is set at the table above the barbed wire. But look at Punk. He's going to try to get out of here. Punk's trying to climb out here, but Hangman's going to go right after him. Hangman now in the cage, but Punk's trying to race to the corner to the cage here. 
And now both of these two battle now on the top of the cage. One of them could easily fall into that table of barbed wire. Hey man, hit it, Paul with some strikes on the cage. You better be careful, Paul could easily fall and win. Oh dear God. Hey man, what the hell are you doing? Oh my God, no! Don't do it, hey man, it's just a title, damn it! Hey man, please, think about both of your guys' careers here! Hey man, don't do it! Oh my god! Holy shit indeed! It's gotta be one of the craziest things I've ever seen in CSW! Oh my god, both of these men are down and out! Who's gonna get up first? And then this is one hell of a steel cage matchup! For the CSW Championship! Here we go for the cover! One, two, and Paul kicked out of two! How's Aaron Blades a ball? I can't believe Hip Paul just kicked out of it! The ref is shook! Hangman is shook! Everybody's shook here! Feel the rat trying to check out see a punk. Meanwhile, Hangman's got a ladder! Hangman and Page setting up the ladder here. And now Hangman is going to go right after the two tables. Hangman and Page setting up a table here. But wait a minute, he's looking at that other table here. Oh dear God, not only is there thumbtacks set up under the tables, there are two tables now set up by Hangman. He's going to go after Punk. Speed heel kick by Punk. Punk's got Hangman up for the GTS. GTS by Punk. Punk going for the cover. Punk's about to retain. One, two. Heyman kicks out of jail. And the crowd is going wild because Heyman out of page just kicked out of the GTS. We kick out. We made Crown a new CSW champion in the night. And everybody's chanting yes for Heyman out of page. This is unbelievable. Punk said, screw this, he's getting the hell out of here, he's going to climb the cage, and he's getting out. Punk's almost out of here, but looks on top of the ladder. It's Hangman and a page and a grab Punk. Oh no, Hangman's got all the Punk on top of the cage. Oh no, he's going to crash right through those two tables. Oh my god, Punk reverse, he's got him in the Pepsi Plus position. And look at that crazy look in Punk's eye. He's looking at the tables. Punk, no, no, no. Indeed, awesome! Oh my God, Jr. I need to get a hold of yourself. I can't take this out the living again. Jr. You gotta remember your, your blood pressure. Be careful, man. I know, but this is one hell of a match. Who's gonna go for the cover first? I don't even know how Punk's even back up here, but he's picking up Hangman. Punk's gonna go for a spin heel kick. Oh no! He actually took down Phil the Ref! Phil the Ref is down! Hangman! Oh! Shotgun Lariat! He's not, but he can't even go over the cover now! Red the Ref is down, he sees it! Hangman says, screw it! He's gonna climb the cage, and he's gonna get out of here! Hangman's on top of the cage! He's ready to get out of here! He's looking at the fans with pure joy! Wait a minute! What the? Who the hell? Who the hell just went through the barricade? He's climbing the cage! What the? Oh no! The masked man just hit Hangman out of page in the face with a barbed wire baseball bat! Pushing him off! No! Who is that? Well, whoever did is that in that mask is watching this with pure joy because Hangman's went crashing all the way down. Punk is finally back up. He notices what's about to happen. Punk grabs Hangman. God damn it, no, not this way. Punk's going for the GTS. Oh, GTS. Not like this, no. Punk going for the cover. One, two, three. Here's your winner. It's still the CSW champion, C.L. Punk.
CM Punk retains the CSW title on the fist to whoever under that hood is. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! It's Baron Corbin, that fucking asshole! Hey, watch your mouth, JR! Nah, screw him! I never liked Baron Corbin! And now he's screwed Hangman out of the pants? Out of the title? This is bullshit! I want a refund! You sound like a whole mark right now. Shut up! Anyway, this is outrageous, but Barry Corbin is now in CSW, and I believe he has aligned himself with the leader of the Judgment Day, CM Punk. Well, this is outrageous. What a, what a night it's been, but what a BS way to end No Mercy. Barry Corbin helps CM Punk to retain the title and is now the newest member of the Judgment Day. What the hell? The... Uh, guys, the lights have worn out. I don't know what's going on here. Oh my, oh my god. The judge, the rest of the Judgment Day have been attacked backstage. Rhea Ripley, Damian Priest, and Edge. Who could have done this here? Oh my god! Could it be? Could it be? Has got a hold of Barrett Corbin. 13 16. Now the demon has now got a hold of the champ Sam Punk. Are we about to see another 13 16? 13 16. Finn Balor now climbing the cage. What does he have in mind here? What is he about to do to Sam Punk? Punk is not moved, but I think I know what the demon's about to do off the top of the cage. Off the cage! I believe the demon Finn Balor has made his message clear that Finn wants revenge on CM Punk and the Judgment Day. What a pay-per-view this has been, ladies and gentlemen. What a night of no mercy. We hope you guys enjoyed our first pay-per-view of CSW. No mercy. Good night, everybody. And I got this show.